Welcome friends in our Panasonic robot training how to use the teach pendant. This is the part 53 and here we discuss a new topic management settings. First system settings. The system settings are settings that configure all equipment including the robot that comprises the system. You can also check, change or delete the connection settings among the robot and optional equipment such as external access node. For details function settings of optional equipment including external access please refer to the operating instructions of the optional equipment supplementary notes plus mark to the left of an item it indicates that the item contains sub items click the plus mark to open the sub items minus mark to the left of an item click it to close the sub items to delete a item if delete is provided as sub item select it to delete item add standard add option displays the specified setting dialog box to add an item system settings procedure you can see in this image here you can see click set management settings system here you can see robot and mechanism symbol click robot edit property mechanism next is robot settings a function to register the applied robot installation type such as standard angle or ceiling on the system screen select edit under robot to display setting dialog box type specifies the applied manipulator type mounting robot installation type standard ceiling angle note for ceiling type robot ceiling is displayed as the installation type is factory set to ceiling at shipment the setting cannot be changed tilt angle it specifies the angle if the robot is installed on a slant this settings procedure you can see in this image next is add optional functions when you add an optional unit use this to add the functions of the optional unit to the system first on the system screen click on the add option button to display the add option dialog box second specify an optional function you want to add and click the ok button to register note the following functions are provided as standard functions which need to be added to the system using add standard button multi welders only for g3 controllers input for switching welders towers characteristic switching multi mechanism external communication next is multi mechanism a function to operate multiple mechanisms using paracall command setting procedure on the system screen click add standard button then select multi mechanism from the list next is multi welders settings note it is not possible to use both multi welders and switching welders by the external input functions at the same time if either one of the functions has been added it is not possible to add the other function if attempted a warning message is displayed and the function attempted to add later won't be added with this function when you switch to another program the welder registered in the program is applied note this function is not applicable in the following conditions the multi welders is not selectable a wg type controller is used multi cooperative robot control is used the function input for switching welders is applied it is not possible to use input for switching welders and multi welder at the same time procedures first on the system dialog box click add standard button select multi welders from the list second specify a welder on with either new file dialog box or properties dialog box note select a welder from default welder make sure to add multi welders to the system list to enable settings of welder on new and properties dialog box this procedure you can see in this images so friends here we end this part of our panasonic robot training and further information we will discuss in our next video